More women get diagnosed with Alzheimer's than men. For years, scientists assumed that was because women tend to live longer. Now, that understanding is changing. Many of you watching this will get Alzheimer's disease, unless we stop looking in the wrong place. Menopause is not the cause of Alzheimer's. It's a correlate that can unmask a deeper problem that Dr. Doug Wallace has shown us for decades. Alzheimer's disease is a disease of bioenergetic failure. When mitochondrial output drops below neural demand, the bioenergetic threshold, synapses fail, proteostasis unravels, and pathology follows. Hormones are one of many inputs that modulate the threshold, sure. But the engine is the mitochondria, and we've weaponized our environment against them. Circadian disruption, non-native EMF, sitting in a chair all day staring at a screen that's bombing our melanopsin receptors and damaging our brain, poor sleep, mostly because of non-native EMFs and blue light. We are being bombarded by relentless redox stress. Blaming menopause is tidy. Fixing your environment, your circadian biology, your metabolic flexibility, your membrane integrity is a lot harder, but that's where the leverage is. If you're a woman scared by headlines, fear the right things, a life that chronically lowers mitochondrial voltage, rebuild bioenergetics, change your environment, raise your mitochondrial threshold, and the risk curve of developing Alzheimer's disease moves right with you.